Senator Powers, you have one minute for your final rebuttal of Mr. Bowman. Thank you, Kendall. Uh, Joe, I have some remarks prepared, but I just think it's time for me to throw the cards away, take the gloves off, and just say what has to be said. Now, I could... Throwing Beat away the cards the bush, is my idea. I'm not going to. I'm going to get and right Jordan's. It's mine and Jordan's. <laughs> Joe, I have always admired you as a man. Your humble beginnings, your dazzling football career cut short by a tragic accident. But as much as I admire your accomplishments... Fasten your seat, Lord knows, people. knows I do. <laughs> I remember a play that you made in a game against the Giants that was just simply astounding. What's he doing? Now, you no, drop back... This is not the impromptu Everybody speech we rehearsed. Thomas <laughs> Taylor's bearing down on you, and you took off down the field, sprained knee and all, 65 yards of the best broken field running anybody had ever seen. <laughs> Your time is up, Senator. It is. Well, I, I didn't get to make my point. I, I, I have a point. <laughs> after a night like this. But, Margaret, I thought you liked campaigning. Well, I do, but not for the opponent. Oh, <laughs> poor aching head. I'll get you some ass. No, 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 don't bother. I'll get it myself. Charlotte! <laughs> Let me rub your oh. neck, Mommy. That always oh. helps. Theodore, you can rub her feet. Oh. Thanks anyway. <laughs> Sanders, Bradley Grist, did you see the debate? How do you think we did? Oh, what do you know? You hate me. <laughs> I'll try Crane at the Tribune. He likes me. He doesn't hate me quite as much. Senator, you did everything but ask Joe Bowman if you could adopt him. <laughs> Didn't he? I thought he did. <laughs> Honestly, Bill, we've just lost all the good we gained from when you were shot. <laughs> Look, I'll admit that I got a little carried away, but it was a 65-yard touchdown. <laughs> I've never seen a quarterback do anything like that. Now, 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 hold on. Now, tell me, what's wrong with paying your opponent a compliment? I think we need more of that in politics. The negative campaigning is killing this country. Oh, Bill, go save a whale. <laughs> okay, Jack, I will get back to you. With all due respect, sir, early reactions are in, and it seems, well, you stepped in it. <laughs> we need to talk. Charlotte, uh, two aspirin, please, and um, please see that all the luggage is unpacked. Yes, ma'am. <gasps> is anyone else besides me hungry? Theodore? Mm, no, thanks. 
But you haven't eaten all day. You'll starve to death. <laughs> Nothing for me, thanks. <laughs> Slightly scrambled toast points and a large pot of coffee. Or, or would you rather uh, do the luggage first? <laughs> Good idea, ma'am. No, no, after all, I, I'm too hungry. And, and I need some aspirin. So do I, ma'am. <laughs> oh, very well. Let's do it myself. <laughs> Mother, can we go home? It's midnight, and I've got school tomorrow. Pierce, did I complain when you were a baby and the nurse got up with you at midnight? <laughs> I don't remember. Don't get smart with me, young man. If you live a thousand years, you'll only have one mother. Mm, one's plenty. <laughs> All right, get your ratty little backpack, and we'll go. Excuse me. What's this? It's a Joe Bowman action figure. What are you doing with this particular doll? I'm kissing goodbye. That's right. Now let's go. Drop it, Theodore. <laughs> goodbye, little man. <laughs> we'll never forget you. Dad, you're weird. Okay, you don't like my idea. What do you suggest? Look, I really think it's time to take a shovel to Mr. Bowman's past and try to dig up something we can nail him with. Well, good luck. The man makes Mother Teresa look like a showgirl. <laughs> That's nonsense, Bradley. Everybody's got dirt somewhere in his past. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you really think it's worth destroying a man just so I can keep my seat in the Senate? Is this a trick question? <laughs> I am not going to run a negative campaign. Now, is that clear? As a bell, sir. Agreed, sir. No, I'm going up to bed. Good night, darling. Good night. Well, as usual, you were right. And, Bill, darling, thank you for putting us back in touch with our basic humanity. Yes. Good night. 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 Now. How do we destroy Mr. Joe Bowman? We've got to find something on him. Worst case scenario, what if, God forbid, Bowman really has no dirt in his past? Well, then we may have to just bring a little something extra to the party. <laughs> All due respect, Mrs. Powers. Damn, you're good. Which brings us back out here, where the real work is done by these dedicated young people. Senator, you have some papers to sign now. Oh. Well, Evelyn, uh, I'm afraid I've got some work to do. Uh, why don't you drop by again sometime? Uh, would it be possible to get just one more copy of these photos? No. Well, Bradley, I think we could spare one more. Oh, thank you, Senator. This time you've got my vote. <laughs> Oh. That's for my friend Grace. Oh, yes, that's uh, one with a new foot. <laughs> and could I have one, please, for... No, no more. You're wasting the man's time. Now take it and shoo. Shoo, I mean it. I told you once, I told you a thousand times. You can come to the office, Mother, but don't linger. <laughs> Bradley, I worry about you. Thank you, sir. Oh, hi. Hello, everyone. Hello, Tom. Margaret, what a nice surprise. Well, I just happened to be nearby having a very amusing lunch with Mimsy Bordner. It was her first meal since she'd had her stomach stapled. She had broth. I had a steak. <laughs> <laughs> so I just thought I'd pop in and see if there was anything exciting happening here. Is there? Nope, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Quick. Quick, you gotta come in and look at the TV. It, it, you won't believe this because it, it's unbelievable. Well, what on earth? I can't Did you say the television? the television? I don't... The incriminating tape was delivered to our studios in Washington last night. 
Many feel this 10-second piece of videotape could end Bowman's political career before it even begins. This, look, see, see, it's like they've been playing this all afternoon. Look at this. What is it? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Accident last January and was thought to be permanently paralyzed. Now back to our regular programming. He can walk. He's not paralyzed. Can you believe it? I don't know what to say. It is shocking. I can't help but think how the voters will turn on him. <laughs> Margaret, how could you think about the election now? This is a tragic moment in American politics. Well Yes, Bill, but I mean, it's the best kind of tragic. <laughs> oh, darling, now please don't think me callous. You know I feel bad about the state of American politics. We all do. Bad. Very bad. This is a sad day for our country. Sad. Very sad. <laughs> Bill, I hate to see you so upset, darling. Why don't you go make yourself a nice cup of tea? Yes, yes, I think I will. Yeah, come on, Pop, I'm buying. Sad. Very sad. Mm. what you can do with computers and videotape. You two are the best. Spowers, we can't take all the credit. Bowman walking was your idea. Yes, it was, wasn't it? Well, I'd say we make an unbeatable team. Here's to us. But she's sad. She's very sad. <laughs> it sure is. Senator Power's office. Senator, it's UPI. They probably want your reaction to the Bowman tape. Mm. It's starting. Yes. Mm-hmm. What? Oh, no, 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 that's impossible. You're certain about that? I see. Well, um, I'll have to get back to you. Thank you very much. Bill, what's the matter? You're as pale as a Presbyterian. <laughs> The person who dropped the tape off at that TV station last night had to sign in at the front desk, and the name they've got is Sophie Lipkin. What, did I use the good styrofoam? <laughs> now, Sophie, you didn't drop anything off at a TV station last night, did you? The package that Bradley gave me to mail. I was going right by there, so I figured I'd save the American taxpayer a buck fifty in postage. The American taxpayer? Who the hell cares about the American taxpayer? When I give you something in the mail, I expect you to... Did I just say that? <laughs> oh, God, I did, and I'm still talking. <laughs> uh, you? No, it wasn't me. Okay, it was me, but not just me. She made me do it. You make me sick. You made me make you sick. <laughs> Excuse me. I, I, I just don't understand. I, I know I'm just a wife, but... Uh, Jordan Bradley, are you somehow involved in this tragic episode? Am I? Mrs. Powers, you were the... I? I what, Bradley? Oh, yeah. To accuse a man of faking a disability, that's unspeakably cruel. Yes. Well, you know what you have to do, Bill. Yes, I'm going to call Joe Bowman right now and apologize. No, no, Bill, no, Bill, you must do much more than that. I mean, there's a malignancy in our midst, and if we have any hope of surviving, you must remove it before it destroys us as well. You mean that, that I should... I think you got to, Pops. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Oh, God, please don't, please don't, please don't. Be a man. Easy for you to say. <laughs> Go ahead, Senator. Bradley, Jordan, I, I hate to do this, but you leave me no choice. You're fired. <laughs> Guys are bound to clear up. Put on a happy face. Oh, yeah.
Then what you're saying, Doctor, is that in your professional opinion, based on the design of the chair and proximity to the fire, the tape is a fraud. I'd have to say yes. That was noted wheelchair and barbecue expert Robert Sears. We are waiting to hear Senator Powers' response to allegations that the tape was a hoax perpetrated by someone on his staff. And now, another look at that controversial tape, this time in slow motion. Again? Look Thank you very much, Tony. It really is amazing, isn't it? People will watch a lousy home video 800 times, and you can't get them to watch the Torkelsons even once. Okay, that's it for the legs. Where's the head? Help me! Help me! Help must you? Come on, we'll play in the kitchen. Can someone please turn that down a little? Off is good. Having trouble, Daddy? Yes, this speech is the hardest thing I ever had to write. Listen to this part. It is with a heavy heart that I must ask my two closest, most trusted aides to resign. I do not blame them for what has happened. I blame a system that puts winning ahead of decency. But, but that's very good, dear. Yes, excellent, Daddy. Uh, one small thing. Instead of saying, I do not blame them, you might say, I do blame them. <laughs> and Daddy, don't say they were your closest aides. Say you barely knew them. <laughs> and you could throw in a line about some missing petty cash, and you were about to fire them anyway. Yeah, and don't forget about the old lady they keep locked in the basement. What is with you guys? Pop, the speech is fine. Damn it. I don't want to do this. Uh, uh, Bill, where are you going? Out. You guys have got to see this. Dad fixed it, so when he squeezed Joe's body, his head flies about 15... <laughs> Sorry. Wrong room. It's not fair. It's just not fair. Oh, God. What am I going to do now? No reason to get out of bed anymore. Why set the alarm? Spring forward, fall back? Who cares? <laughs> Bradley, come on now. Pull yourself together. You've been crying nonstop for six hours. Have a drink. Have a party hat. It's not fair. We don't deserve this. Bradley, we broke the cardinal rule of politics. We got caught. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Probably losing all respect for me. I wouldn't worry about that. You're so strong. How do you take it so well? call this taking it well i am smashed tomorrow morning i'm gonna be just as miserable as you you will and barfing besides <laughs> oh good oh. you're still here Manners. good to see you why don't you have a seat take mine oh wait ah, man, i don't have to suck up anymore no get your own chair Bill? <laughs> if you've come to hear us say we understand and it's not your fault, forget it. Now, I didn't come here for forgiveness. I came here because I cared deeply for you. Both of you. <laughs> oh, please put it on a hallmark. Yes, you can set it to my new address, under past six, Potomac Parkway. I'll be living in the large Maytag box on the end. <laughs> Now, Bradley, you will have a job. If you're there, so sure. Paper or plastic, Mrs. Biden? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. What is it? What's wrong? Nothing. Just a little stress-induced nasal hemorrhaging. I'll be fine. <laughs> Hi, honey. No kiss? Now, Jordan, we have to talk. About what? What about us? Oh, buttons. 
You don't think a little firing could spoil what we have? Just because you're about to destroy my career and humiliate me in front of the whole country? Heck no. <laughs> Jordan, this isn't you. This is the whiskey talk. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> no, it's me. Like you never took a pen home? <laughs> now, will you two just stop and listen to me for one minute? I don't want to lose you two. Now, you're not the real problem anyway. The problem is the system. The idea that says that the end justifies the means. It's ruined a lot of people. Well, then, why don't you just go change the system? Yes, after that, you can patch up the hole in the ozone layer. Yes, here, you can use this. <laughs> all right, you can joke all you want to about changing things, but that is just what I intend to do. Senator, what is it exactly that you're saying here? That I should just I'm simply trying forget to tell my you. hurt? No, I am not trying to... You know, the cruelties you that were done to me... You may not have, have to leave to here. Senator, everything I was saying before, I was hemorrhaging. Okay, you've always been like a father to me. Gee, that's a nice coat. Would you mind terribly much if I hugged you? So we all get caught up with that winning is everything mentality. Now, I don't have to tell you that, a former quarterback. And a damn fine one, too, I might add. I, I'll never forget that play that you made with the... Oh, yes, that's right. Now, Joe... I, uh, I know that you and your family have suffered a lot. But Bradley and Jordan are victims, too. No, 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 no. I know, I know what they did was wrong. What they did was just play by the rules. And that's what we have to get rid of, those old rules, not the people. Senator, I, I don't understand. What, what is it you want me to do? Come with me on the television and let the nation know that you think... You can forgive Bradley and Jordan. And that you and I are going to conduct from now on a clean campaign. No more dirty tricks. Now, can you do that, Joe? Can you? Senator, I'd be honored. You're a big man, Joe Bowman. No, sir. Just an American who wants to do what's best for his country. What's better than a little honesty? and integrity in politics. Hmm? Well, good night, Joe. Good night. And thank you very, very much. No, sir.